Hi, welcome to BIRCH clustering numerical example. Here, the balanced iterative reducing and clustering using hierarchies to cluster the given data set, uh, uh, it will apply clustering features tree structure. It is having the 10 data points given here with the x and y coordinate it is not handling the categorical data so we will use only numerical data points in the given data set the branching factor for the parent is 2 and the number of uh, entries for each leaf node will be uh, 5 and the threshold value for the diameter of subcluster is 1.5 in for the leaf nodes here the plot is given the number of data points are represented in the uh, uh, given plot based upon x and y values first we will select the first data point for that as per the barch algorithm we have to calculate linear sum and squared sum so for the first data point 3 comma 4 we have taken from here uh, the radius is 0 initially the data point we only one data point is uh, uh, assumed so there is uh, no um, radius to that uh, clustering data point so that is the 0 initially we can form the clustering feature which is having the triples number of data points here one only one data point considered then linear sum linear sum is as of now only one data point so 0 plus 3 3 0 plus 4 4 then squared sum uh, 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 here 0 plus 3 squared 9 0 plus 4 squared uh, 16 so this is the value we have calculated for the clustering feature 1 so now here the branching factor is 2 so since the branching factor is 2 the single parent can have two children so two children so two branches so branch one now it is having the leaf node x1 x1 is added into the cf1 uh, but here the branching branch two as of now it is not having any children so it is nil okay so now uh, we will select the next data point uh, x2 here for the x2 2 comma 6 we have to find out the radius and clustering feature here the clustering feature one is already available here with the number of data points linear sum and squared sum it is having only one entry in the leaf node now we are going to add uh, find out the linear sum of two data points uh, 3 comma 4 uh, under new data point 2 uh, 2 comma 6 this is this is giving 3 plus 2 5 4 plus 6 10 we got it linear sum like that squared sum we are calculating we will get uh, 13 comma 52 the number of data points are 2 so now we are checking this data point uh, uh, 3 comma 4 is close to the 5 comma 10 yes so now it, it is going to be added into the same leaf node but in the same clustering feature 1 so number of data points are 2 linear sum is 5 comma 10 and here 13 comma 52 is the squared sum so here how we are adding into the same cluster feature in the sense we have to check the threshold value so here the radius is calculated with using the squared sum divided by n minus linear sum square divided by n and by divided by n when you are substituting the values you will get 0 0.5 comma 1 so we will check the diameter of this cluster uh, here so the diameter is here uh, 0 0.5 comma 1 the threshold value t is already given 1.5 so this is less than the 1.5 so it is uh, 0 0.5 also less than 1.5 1 is also less than 1.5 so it is true so then only we can add this 2 comma 6 into the same uh, cluster feature 1 so now only we have to add the data point into the cluster feature 1 so the cluster feature 1 now uh, updated this values and the 2 is added into the uh, uh, child of the cluster feature 1 now we will select the a third data point 4 comma 5 find out the radius and the cluster feature for, for for radius we are in need of squared sum and the linear sum then we have find out the linear sum for the um, already uh, calculated data points uh, 5 comma 10 this value right this value and uh, new data point so we have calculated the linear sum and the squared sum for this three data points 29 by comma 7 77 
here number of data points are 3 now radius is calculated 0 0.47 comma 0 0.47 now we are checking with the threshold value threshold value is 1.5 so 0 0.47 also less than uh, 1.5 0 0.47 also less than 1.5 so this is true that means this data point uh, 4 comma 5 is uh, close to this uh, cluster feature 1 so now we can add this 4 comma 5 into the leaf x1 and x2 so we are we are moving that uh, 4 comma 5 towards to this leaf so we are added here then after adding we have to update the parent node cluster features number of data points are 3 linear sum is 9 comma 15 which we have updated here and uh, squared sum is 29 comma 77 then now we are going to consider the fourth data point 4 comma 7 here 4 comma 7 uh, uh, we are calculating the radius for the radius needed the squared sum and linear sum so we have calculated here the number of data points are now 4 now we are checking the threshold value with the given radius 0 0.47 here 0 0.47 both are less than the 1.5 so that's why uh, we are going to add this 4 comma 7 into the a leaf x1 x2 x3 which is already available so now we are moving down that uh, data point x4 to this leaf so after adding this uh, node into the leaf node we have to update the parent value with uh, n comma linear sum comma squared sum so n is 4 linear sum is 13 comma 22 and squared sum is 4, 45 comma 126 then we are adding the fifth data point 3 comma 8 here we are calculating the radius for the three, uh, new data point uh, for radius needed squared sum and linear sum so this is already existing value now new data point we are adding that here the existing value uh, and square uh, this is existing value this is square uh, new value for squared uh, then we will get the squared sum the number of data points are 5 then here when you are apply the uh, radius formula uh, 0 0.33 comma 0 0.63 both values are less than the 1.5 so which is satisfying the condition given condition so we can add this uh, fifth data point into the same leaf node so we are moving down that x5 into the same leaf node uh, 3 comma 8 after adding this we have uh, updated the uh, cluster feature 1 so cluster feature 1 is having the number of data points 5 and the linear sums uh, 16 comma 30 and the squared sum is 54 comma 119 then we are uh, so this is the plot uh, for the five data points so cluster feature one now we are updating the sixth data point six comma two find the radius for the radius we are calculating the linear sum and uh, squared sum so when you are updating the value here 1.24 and 1.97 1.24 is less than the 1.5 but 1.97 is greater than the 1.5 so here we, we uh, our condition is false i mean our the criteria is false that means uh, it is not close to the this uh, given uh, leaf node so what we have to do the x x6 cannot be added into the same leaf node so we have to create new cluster feature 2 with the new uh, data point x6 so a new data point x6 we are going to create the new cluster feature so here previously only one cluster feature is there still it is having the uh, uh, having the option to create one more cluster feature two because it, it can have two children the single parent can have two children so cluster feature two can be created so cluster feature two is created here with the single leaf node x6 comma uh, x6 equal to 6 comma 2 so linear sum for this leaf node is 6 comma 2 and linear sum for this cluster feature 2 is 36 comma 4 now we are going to update the seventh data point 7 comma 2 here this parent is having two branches branch 1 here branch 2 that means two children's so branching factor also here two are allowed so as per that here uh, the branch 1 is having cf1 branch 2 is having the cluster feature 2 now we have to find x7 new data point closest to either cf1 or cf2 so now find the radius the cf1 uh, here for the cf1 uh, we have to identify the value uh, the linear sum divided by n 
so here when you are applying that 3.2 comma 6 here cluster feature 2 uh, the uh, linear sum divided by n so that is the centroid okay uh, here the linear sum divided by n that is that is the 6 comma 2 because only uh, one data points available in the cluster feature 1 so when you are applying that here x7 is closest to the uh, cf2 the C cf2 7 comma 2 the data point 7 comma 2 is close to the 6 comma 2 then the 3.2 comma 6 the, when you are taking the x coordinate y coordinate in the plot here the 3 3 will be here 6 will be here and here um, uh, 6 comma 2 so 6 is available here 2 will be available here the new data point is 7 comma 2 7 here 2 so the data point uh, this is close to this 6 comma 2 okay then this one so we are uh, adding this 7 comma 2 to the leaf node with 6 comma 2 so now uh, here find the radius okay find the radius for the uh, given new data point 7 comma 2 so radius is here we have calculated 0 0.5 comma 0 so now the 0 0.5 comma 0 is uh, less than the given threshold value 1.5 right so this is also less than 1.5 0 also less than 1.5 so now you can add that uh, seventh data point 7 comma 2 to the cluster feature true right so after adding moving down to the cluster uh, cluster feature 2 here then we will update this cluster feature 2 with uh, n is 2 linear sum of these two data points and squared sum of this two data points in the cluster feature 2 leaf node then uh, eighth data point we are taking here also we are having branch factor 1 branch 2 so we have to uh, check the new data point close to the uh, cluster feature 1 or cluster feature 2 so based upon that we will calculate the value here uh, the 7 comma 4 is close to the cluster feature 2 then this 3.2 comma 6 so now we are uh, selecting this cluster feature 2 then we find the radius for the cluster feature 2 for a new data point so here for the new data point radius with the cluster feature 2 0 0.47 0 0.994 so both values are less than 1.5 threshold so we can add that new data point into the uh, leaf node in the cluster feature 2 which is already having x 6 comma 7 so now we are moving down that eighth node data into the uh, same data uh, uh, leaf node then after uh, adding here we have to update the cluster feature 2 with n is number of data points 3 then linear sum of 3 data points squared sum of these 3 data points for the cluster feature 2 now ninth data point 8 comma 4 still we are having branch 1 that means uh, uh, child 1 child 2 so here uh, we have to find uh, the x9 closest to either cluster feature 1 or 2 so when you are updating the values by using the formula here 3.2 comma 6 this one is 6.6 comma 2 comma 2.6 the value is 8 comma 4 here also 8 comma 4 so when you are plotting the values you will get the cf2 is closer to the uh, new data point 8 comma 4 so now we will calculate the radius with cf2 when you are applying this uh, values you will you will get the radius as 0 0.7 here 1 so 0 0.7 is less than 1.5 1 is also less than 1.5 so we can add this new data point into the uh, cf2 uh, which is already having three data points so now we are moving that uh, x9 into the uh, into the leaf node in the cluster feature 2 after adding we will update this cluster feature 2 with uh, number of data points 4 and a linear sum of the four data points squared sum of the four data points now we are adding the tenth data point 7 comma 9 uh, here two branches are there here a uh, branch 1 and branch 2 okay so since we are having two data uh, two branches we have to identify uh, x10 so this is x10 close to the cf1 or cf2 so now we have to find the uh, find the value so here 3.2 comma 6 this one is 7 comma 3 so 7 comma 9 is close to the uh, uh, 7 comma 3 so here uh, based upon this here we have to identify which is the 
value uh, close to the uh, new data point. Here, extend is uh, close to the data point 3 comma 6 here, then this 7 comma 2, right? 7 comma 3, right? So that's why we are adding this uh, 10th data point into the CF1. So we look at this, the plot. So this is uh, the new data point 7 comma 9. So this is the 9 available in the y axis. So this is close to the 3.6 then 7 comma uh, 3. So this place. Okay. So this is more distance than this one. So 7 comma 9 is close to the uh, CF1. So now we found the radius for CF1. Uh, here uh, we will apply that linear sum and uh, squared sum. Now the number of data points are here. We are going to move down the x6 here. Okay, so here you look at that the uh, threshold value we are getting 1.57 here 1.7 it is false actually it should be less than 1.5 so x6 cannot be added here so what to do we have to uh, move this x6 uh, into different leaf node you look at here uh, when you are moving down that uh, 6 here it is not possible to add it here so what we have to do uh, we have to make that into another leaf node. So when you are making another leaf node here, you have to join with this. But the number of allowed branching factors are only two. Okay. So here we are going to add this x10. Okay. X10. So x10 is added here as a new leaf node because here the given uh, threshold value is on uh, uh, false okay so we have to create the new leaf node right so new leaf node then cf3 will be created with the new leaf node 1 comma uh, the 7 comma linear sum linear sum is 7 comma uh, 9 and uh, squared sum okay squared sum is uh, 49 comma 81 right so when you are creating the cf3 the branch 3 is created but only threshold value for the branch is 2 so it is not allowed to this parent to have three children uh, for this uh, context so what we have to do we have to make one more parent so here we have to make uh, here uh, cf1 cf1 and uh, 2 is joined now we, we will create one parent here uh, and another one is cf3 so like this we can create so cf3 will be one uh, uh, one uh, child and the cf12 will become here cf1 and cf2 will become one uh, i mean one internal node so like that you look at here uh, we have created CF12 combined with the four uh, nine data points with the nine data points then it is having uh, internal node here this is internal node CF1 is having five data points CF2 is having four data points the newly created CF3 will be another child another child to this parent so it is having only one data point that is the uh, leaf node X10 so this is the way to uh, apply the BARCH for clustering purpose. Once again, I am repeating this step. So here uh, we are having a uh, uh, 10th data point going to be added into here. When you are adding the 10th data point as per the previous step here, we cannot add this 10th data point into here because the branching factors allowed only two branching factors here so what we have to do we have to uh, make this into one b i mean clustering features one two as a one child and another one is clustering feature three so which is, which is going to have one child so this will be the leaf node uh, leaf node x10 so this is the way to apply the barch thanks for watching